Hey guys, this is Danae. I'm here to make a video about the pants. Everyone has been kind of asking me to make this video and I'm sorry it's taken so long. Please excuse my voice. Um, I've been super um, sick, like on and off since I started working, like I had strep. I'm pretty sure I got RSV. Um, I've just been um, under the weather. Uh, I've been working for the past two months in the, a very busy emergency department. And um, <clears throat> I know someone has asked me to do a video about that. I just want to give work a little bit more time. It's really difficult to be a new grad. Um, and I'm, I'm learning in a very difficult environment as well. So I will update to you guys as soon as I can. So this video is, I'm going to call it 21 days to pass your pants, okay? So I graduated on June 15th. That was our pinning ceremony. And then... Um, I went to the Caribbean, I enjoyed my life, and I came back and I started studying. That gives me tw that gave me 21 days, roughly, um, to study and prepare for the pants, okay? I am trying to make this video as short as possible, so please excuse me for talking fast. Um, all of the sources that I use, I use pants, prep pearls, obviously. Um, I use the second edition. Um, I also use this Pants Panry Study Guide. Okay, and um, Dwayne Williams is Pants Prep Pearl's author, and he's a really nice guy. I met him at the PA conference. Um, he had a little booth there. This was the one in Vegas, okay? And um, the other sources that I used, it was an audio source, Pants Panry, um, by Andrew Reed. Um, and that is R-E-I-D, Andrew Reed. And then I took the NCCPA practice test. They do offer two. I only took one. I only gave them $50 for one. I wasn't giving them my $100 and paying for the pants as well. Um, and then I used Rosh Review, which was provided by my school, which I feel like I paid for anyway because I pay tuition. Or I paid tuition. Or I'm paying for tuition <laughs> because I have a lot of loans. Okay, guys. So, uh, the first thing to do is to print out a calendar and then write your pants date on the calendar. Unfortunately, um, the one that I had kind of got misplaced during the move, but I kind of made a little mock one. Print out a calendar from your computer. Um, I use a MacBook Pro. I just went to my calendar, printed it out. Um, and then, um, print out the um, pants... Um, breakdown okay the blueprint so cardiology is 16 poem is 12 msk is 10 gi is 10 ent is 9 reproductive is 8 endocrine is 6 gu is 6 psych is 6 derm is 5 um heme is 3 and id is 3 okay so print out that blueprint um and you know you can find that and at nccpa um on their site okay so on day one of my study plan um it is MSK, day two is MSK, day three is GI, day four is GI, day five is ENT, day six is ENT, day seven is cardio, day eight is cardio, and day nine is cardio. Day 10 is POM, day 11 is POM, and day 12 is POM. Day 13 is reproductive, day 14, 14 is reproductive, um, and then 15 is the practice test, the NCCPA $50 practice test, okay? And then, uh, and on that, you don't get your, um, you don't get like question by question what you got right and what you got wrong, but it really does compare you to other people that took the test, um, and it shows you where any weaknesses might be. Um, then day 16 was GU, day 17 was psych, day 18 was derm, and then day 19 was split between heme and ID because both of those are only 3%, and then um, day 20 was endo. So on those days where I was only giving that topic um, one day because it was lower yield, I would go and I would use this book. And um, this book is really quick and easy to review because it's not detailed like um, Pants, Pearl, uh, Pants Prep Pearls is. It's more so like bullet points. There's one disease process and there's maybe three bullet points about it. Like the key questions they're going to ask you. Because in topics like endo or ID, I feel, well, 
maybe they will with ID, but endo and derm, it's not like, they're not hard questions. Like cardio questions tend to be a lot harder and more detailed. Um, since endo is such low yield, they kind of just skim the surface of it. So that's why this book is um, good um, to get through the most amount of material possible in the fastest amount of time. And on those days where I was reviewing the bigger topics, I definitely used uh, my Pants Prep Pearls book, okay? Um, and then I'll just explain to you how, um, how I would study, right? So I said, day one was MSK. Um, I would do a four hour session in the morning and then take a two hour break and then end with a four or five hour session at night, okay? Um, and then when I was going back to my apartment, if I was going to work out or if I was going to just relax before going to bed, um, instead of watching, you know, Netflix, I would listen to the audio MSK and like MSK was two days. So I would listen to the first half of MSK. So I don't like lose focus and stop listening to it. Um, and then, you know, go to bed and then listen to the second half, you know, that second day where I was reviewing MSK. Um, so I would start my day four hours in the morning. So I would start off with doing maybe, um, 30 questions, right? I would do my 30 questions and then review all the questions that I got wrong. And then I would start my MSK review and start going through disease topics in pants prep pearl, right? And then take my two hour break, come back. Usually I would either start back with this, start reviewing the disease topics, or I would start with the questions again, and then again review, do another 30 questions, review what I got wrong, and then continue to make my way through the material. Um, so, and then I, like I said earlier, when I was leaving wherever I was studying and then I got home, then I would kind of listen to that audio in addition. And when I say doing, doing questions, I also used um, Ross Review. So those are the questions that I use to uh, prepare myself for the pants. So I would um, set it in test mode, not in teach mode. Um, and do my questions and then review the wrong questions in Rosh. It's really important to set it in test mode um, because my school actually did some research on this and um, you're t you, for some reason, you, when you're in test mode and you're trusting yourself and picking the answer, um, it showed that you remember, um, it like remembered it better than when you're in study mode and you're like, oh, I'm not too sure about that. And then getting that instant gratification with the answer, but something about like going back and reviewing it and, and, and then realizing your mistake really helps you to retain, retain better. So I did all my questions in test mode, okay? And um, guys, that is pretty much it for how I studied for the pants. I gave myself three weeks, and I feel like if you need any more than three weeks, you're kind of wasting your time. Three weeks, one month. Um, I wouldn't recommend any more time. You're gonna get restless. It's a long process. Um, and another thing I will say, some people started with cardio and poem because they're like the biggest sections. I saved that for the middle just because like for me, MSK is a place where I know that I'm weaker, right? So I started with MSK. By the time I took the practice test, I, I realized that there were some things that I forgot in MSK. So for me, that's why I put cardio and poem in the middle because there are things that you might not remember um when if you start with cardio and poem that are very valuable because they're high yield sections but when you do them in the middle you give yourself enough time to cover all the material but also you haven't reviewed everything so long ago that you're forgetting things okay so if you guys have any more questions on how to um, prepare for the pants and how to you know knock it out of the water on the first try please um let me know sorry it took me so long to get this video up um but once again let me just um go over everything again so day one and day two, MSK, day three, GI, day four, GI, day five and six, ENT, day seven through nine, cardio, day 10 through 12, poem, day 13 through 14, reproductive, day 15, 
um, NCCPA practice test, day 16, GU, day 17, Psych, day 18, DERM, day 19, HEME and ID, all on the same day, and then endo was day 20, and then day 21 was cardio, day 22, no studying before the pants, and then day 23 is the big day, the pants, all of the resources that I use, pants full prep, there we go. Um, even, um, I even brought out, I used a lot of different colors in my studying, and, um, you know, the audio source that I told you about, um, Rosh Review, the NCCPA practice test, Andrew Reed, his audio, and, um, you know, printing out the blueprint and going from there. Okay, guys, it was great seeing you. If you have any other questions for me, let me know. Bye.